it's realizing that your norm is not good enough for you anymore. Uh -huh. that, that cycle of angst and you know anxiety and dread and overthinking and exhaustion and disappointment that that's not good enough for you. Mm -hmm. That's correct. And you're intolerant of how you feel in that cycle. Mm -hmm. So there's you have a sneaky suspicion that there might be a better way to do it. Oh yeah, and okay. and even some experience of it. So being easy. Can you see the huge progress in that? Oh yeah. It's like, oh, yeah. um, it's like being told at an early age that, the, the, that you were supposed to wear a size six shoe. So you always bought size six shoe, but they were really tight and uncomfortable. But you were told that's the size you were supposed to wear. And you had a lot of foot problems and you couldn't walk very far and hiking was out of the question and dancing, nope, can't do that. And so, but you were wearing what you thought were the right size shoe. Mm. And somebody comes along and maybe an expert in feet. You mean, a, you mean an expert in feet. Yeah. And they say, Grace, what size shoe do you wear? You say six and they go, are you sure? And, and they ask if they can measure your foot and you say, sure, okay. Well, it turns out you're supposed to be wearing a seven and a half. Mm -hmm. And <clears throat> you don't wanna do that because you know what you're supposed to wear. And you hadn't connected that, that size shoe with your foot problems, mm -hmm. but you agreed to just to humor this person to try the seven and a halves. And at first it felt like you were gonna fall out of them all the time. They just felt way too big. And, but you promised you were gonna try them for two weeks. At the end of the two weeks, your feet didn't hurt anymore. You could walk much farther than you used to walk. You even went dancing <laughs> and you finally got it that you were just wearing the wrong size shoe. There wasn't a, ain't something wrong with you. Does that make sense? Oh yeah, that was a beautiful description. Okay. <laughs> Perfect. So it took a lot of, it took, it just took an insight to see where your pain was coming from. It wasn't mm -hmm. coming from the the fact that there's something wrong with you, with your foot. It was coming from a thought you were going by that wasn't true. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And you are at the kind of, in some ways, the clumsy st stage now. It's like, okay, I'm not overworking, I'm not overthinking, but what if I don't get anything done? Yeah. Yeah. You don't quite trust. You're getting close though. You don't mm -hmm. quite trust that a calm, clear mind in the now mind is really productive. It doesn't yeah. seem like it. Because things pop up and they're so simple, you think, well, can't be that easy. 